Hello there, Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, this week I'm going to talk about the biggest feature inside of AutoCAD 2020. In fact, it's so big, there's no way I'm going to make it all the way through in just one week. That's right, I'm talking about the new block palettes. All right, so it's impossible to make it through our AutoCAD life without inserting blocks, am I right? We all insert blocks. Now, I don't know how you insert it. Maybe you use Design Center, maybe you use the ribbon, maybe you use the galleries, but most of us use the insert command. So let me show you the cool new block palettes. I think you're gonna find them incredibly, incredibly valuable. I'm gonna go into the insert command, and you're gonna go, what? Wait a minute, what happened to my insert command? This is the new block palette. The old insert command is gone. Are you having a heart attack? Don't worry, I promise at the end of this tip, I will show you how to get it back. But let me first try to convince you to use the new block palette, all right? <laughs> it's gonna be okay, I promise. So what am I looking at? I'm looking at all the blocks inside of my current drawing, all right? That's easy enough. I wanna insert one of these blocks. No problem, I wanna insert this plant. Drag and drop, pick it, and then decide where you want it to go. It's just that simple. Now, if, what if I want to rotate it? You'll see it didn't ask me to rotate it or to scale it. I mean, I could type in R, I could type in S, but I could also click here in the block palette, say, hey, I want to be able to rotate it. And I can select it again, and this time it will give me the option of being able to rotate it you know, physically as I'm inserting it now. That's a plant, not too exciting to rotate it, but maybe I want that plant to go at a specific angle. It's a possibility. You'll also see that you have the ability to type in a specific rot rotation angle right there in the block palette as well. Same with, with scale, right? That makes sense. I can tell that I want to scale it, same idea, so that as I'm placing it, I can visibly, physically show it, or I could type in a value. It's kind of hard to do that, right? Like a 1.2 to make it a little bit bigger or I could have typed that in here as well. It doesn't have to be uniform. I can change it to a scale factor so that I have a value of an X, a Y, and a Z. So that's completely up to you. All right, what else have I got going on? Now, the best feature in here, the most awesome feature in here that we did not have before is this great repeat placement. What? Haven't you ever been in a situation where you just wanted to insert the same block over and over and over again? In fact, you wanted to insert it with the same scale factor and with the same rotation angle. Oh, you're going to love this. So with repeat placement, I have the ability, to, I don't have to keep hitting enter to go back in the command. I can just go, go, go. I can insert this stool over and over again, once again, with the same parameters. If I want, maybe I'm having a dinner party. A bunch of people are coming over. <laughs> or something, I don't know, it's a pretty messed up looking group of stools on there, but that's okay. So I think you get the general idea, all right? Just to hit an escape when you're finished, and then we can move on to whatever you wanna do next, right? It's just really that simple. All right, so repeat placement, I'm gonna tell you that makes it all worthwhile. I absolutely love that in the block palette. What else have I got in here? All right, so I'm gonna admit, there's a couple of things that make me a little nervous inside of the block palette. And I know you CAD managers have already seen it, the dreaded explode. That's right, you can insert a block and have it exploded into individual you know, objects at the same time. And it's super easy to do that just by selecting right there. Ah, oh, it's too easy. Oh, I can hear your CAD managers crying right now. I'm so sorry, they didn't ask me. Not only that, if you do a right click on any block, you will see that, hey, you can insert it. That doesn't really do anything different than, if you ask me, than a drag and drop. But um, there's also the dreaded insert and explode, which means it will insert, once again, as individual objects. Oh, I can hear you crying. I'm so sorry. It should just come with a big warning. Are you sure you want to do that? Please don't do that. It should come with tears. Big warning. Don't do it. Just say no. But it doesn't. So it's gonna be really easy to insert blocks exploded now. I'm so sorry about that. So, <laughs> all right. so I think that that is enough for this particular tip, except of course the promise I made to you. The rest of it we're gonna talk about the next time I see you. Um, I promised you I'd show you how to get the old insert command back, right? So there's a lot of commands to start with classic, including classic insert, all right. So classic insert, there's your old insert command. Are you feeling better? It, are you feeling warm and fuzzy now and all comfortable like you're right at home? All right, I'm hopefully I convinced you to give that new block palette a try, but if you're not ready, 
not quite ready yet. This is how you get to the old insert dialog box. You could put it back in the ribbon. You could put it, you know, on a tool, whatever made you happy. Um, you could use an alias to get to it if you wanted to, but nevertheless, it's still there. It's hiding in there, so don't get too upset. All right, but give the new block palette a try. It is so powerful. All right, I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. I know, it's another cliffhanger, and I am totally going to miss you. Oh, yeah, until then, take care.